Greetings adventurers. Today we're doing something a little special. We will be walnut dyeing. What will, be, what will we be walnut dyeing, you might ask? Well, we'll be walnut dyeing 100% uh, wool uh, trousers, which I've had for quite a long time. I don't know where I got them, but I've been using them for uh, hiking, backpacking, Boy Scout trips, even skiing. Um, they're super warm. Uh, super useful and I've even used them for costuming before but they're white so that doesn't really s I, I don't want them to be white so I'll be w using walnut husk dye to dye them kind of brown uh, so there are this is not at all a tutorial by the way this um, kind of just me documenting my journey of walnut husk dyeing um, I'm not experienced, this is my first time doing this, however, I know things that I will be using, a propane tank, I've used this all in Boy Scouts before, with and without supervision. My parents are here watching uh, to make sure that I am being safe. Um, I'm wearing old clothes and I have gloves on for safety purposes. We're outside for more safety purposes and because it's just super pretty right now. Um, yeah. So what I'll be doing is I have uh, two buckets full of walnuts that I have been kind of stewing in water for about a, a little over a week now. Um, the water is black and kind of ooey gooey looking, um, really gross, very, very dye, like it, it stains my shirt. Um, but I will be pouring that into our vessel over here that we will be boiling on, but we have cloth over that right now so that the walnut doesn't get into the dye. Essentially, we're separating the two. Then we will move the cloth, we will fire up the propane tank, we will boil the dye, and then we'll start dipping. All right, let's get into it. That's okay. As it boils, there will be less dot and we'll need to keep filling it up. So it's looking pretty good. Let's keep going. Okay, so it's been cooking for a while. We're gonna go take a look. It seems to be simmering. Instructions say to boil it, then bring it back down, and then start dipping. This is what it looks like right now. It has a little film 
over the top of brown, but under that it's all dark black. Really black. But it should be dyeing it like a like a chestnut brown kind of color. So. I'm gonna keep going. Alright, so it's gone up to a boil. Um, and I brought it back down to a simmer, so we're gonna start dipping. See how this goes. I wanted to get a photo of it. Did you video? Oh, oh. No, 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 no. That, that just shows YouTube that I'm not doing dangerous things that we don't call fun. Now, I'm very used to boiling things like this. Um, my family makes uh, maple syrup and it actually has a pretty similar smell to it when we're boiling maple syrup. It makes Turn it back up a little bit and keep going.
Look at this. She's almost getting there. Because the um the dye isn't aged as much as maybe I would like it to or as much as the instructions say to cuz it's only been aging for about a week. Um it's not going to be as dark as I want it to be or actually no. I do want it to be. This is a good color. It's not going to be as dark as you might expect black walnut to dye it. But, it's still great. Um, no matter what the outcome is, outcome of these trousers are. I'll love them, because I made them and dyed them myself. I didn't make them, I dyed them myself. And I know they're made from local wool. Alright, so she's been stewing for a little over an hour now. She's... Well, that was bad. Okay. Um, she's pretty dark, but once she's washed and dried, she'll be a little lighter than this. Um, but I'm excited. It's looking great. It's exactly what I'm looking for. We're running out of propane, as you can see, but that's fine. Because we're almost done. There, out in the darkness, a fugitive running, falling from grace, falling from grace. This I swear by the star. All right, it's been cooking for ages. It should be just about done. I don't think you can get much darker. Uh, we've run out of propane, so it's kind of just going off of the heat that's in there, which is quite a bit of it, actually. It's pretty hot. Um, then I'm just going to squeeze it until the dye comes out. We'll do some dips in the water. Um, then we'll wring it out and hang it on the clothesline. And, yeah. All right, let's go. This, these are the pants, um, got pretty dark, they'll probably get a little lighter after I do some dips in the water and hang them up, but yeah, I'm super happy with this, this is amazing. Alright, that's uh... Alrighty, so we're at the rain barrel. We're just gonna do a few dips, then hang her up to dry. But look at this color, this is amazing. It's exactly what I'm looking for. Fantastic. Alright.
Okay, so lost quite a bit of color. Um, but you know what? That's how it is. Yeah, this looks quite nice. Very, very nice. Quite hefty right now because it's sopping wet. But water's coming out as water. So, gonna hang her up to dry now. Okay, so the pants are now hung up. Um, lost a little color from the water, but it's kind of just how it is. Um, I'm super happy with these. Uh, it's a great little project to do. Took a little over a week to execute. Um, yeah. We'll see how she looks in the morning. Um, until next time, farewell.